Hello YouTubers, this is Len Mooney here today. I know that I have not posted any new videos in the past... It has to be about a, over two weeks now. Two, three weeks from now. Uh, sorry about that. I was busy. I was doing uh, final exams. Sorry. But uh, today what I wanted to show you guys was this right here, Project Mirai 2. I have already opened it, so this isn't technically called an unboxing. Just a view of what it uh, what it looks like on the front, side, back, um, the contents on the inside, and the the little booklet that came with it for whoever pre-ordered the game. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys uh, what this awesome game uh, looks like with the booklet and everything. So first off, I'm going to show you guys um, what the game looks like, and then I'll show you guys the booklet. Okay. So first off, I'm going to show you this. And this is what it looks like on the front. It's really cute, Miku's standing on uh, her right foot with her other leg lift up. And then she's, uh, I guess, pointing to these words up here, I guess. I don't know. But it's so cute. And then here's the side. If my camera will focus. Oh well. This is what it looks like on the back here. So it shows some new characters that you can be able to purchase and stuff from the shopping center and um, that you can play the game on easy, normal, hard by either pressing the buttons on the system itself or using the stylus to also input touch commands and stuff and play the game that way as well or if you want to play both you can it's awesome so yep okay next thing I'm gonna do is open it up and it looks like this in here and let me take some stuff out real quick Oops, and some stuff fell out. I think that was some AR cards that just fell to the floor. But that's okay. It fell only like six inches from the floor. So it's fine. Okay. Uh, one moment, please. You see this little piece of paper that says Project Mirai 2. It has the little characters on there. On the back, it has this. A CD by Michi... Uh, M. Hatsune Miku. And let's see what other stuff we have. Of course we have the AR points that come with it. You have this little thing too that promotes other 3DS Japanese games as well. Also uh, a Wii U game for Sonic Lost Worlds. You have uh, a little paper thingy in Japanese that looks like Stuff that you fill in, like your telephone number, address, name. Um, it looks like it might be... I don't know what this is for. Sega, Japan Soft. Let's see. Maybe you answer questions. Maybe this is like a questionnaire of sorts. Because it has listings of systems and stuff. So I guess it's asking, like, what systems do you currently own? Um... Other stuff that I can't read. But yeah. Choose to fill this out. Other games if you have the other Project Diva games. Not just uh, Project Mirai 1 or 2. But also want Project Diva games for the other systems. Like PSB, PS Vita, PlayStation 3. Not really going to fill this out. <laughs> really not going to. So the little booklet that I showed you before, this is what it looks like on the front. Miku, she looks so precious. Project Mirai 2. Okay. Opening it all the way. This is what it looks like from far away. Like I say far away from me because I'm having to extend my arms. This is as far as my arms will go. So yeah. 
that's what it looks like there. And on this side, kind of shows how to do the notes like via the stylus method or the button pushing method, so forth, and the mini game that you can play in there too. And your profile, construct, constructing your profile, awesome. I'm going to fold that back up now. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Uh, we have these AR cards, and I honestly have not opened these up yet. So why don't we open these up now? Uh, I'll start with this one first. And I want to open it up carefully. Trying. Well, I said that. And then when you actually try to open it up, it's... I wonder, have you guys have ever, like, opened, like, maybe a... Um... A bag of chips or something, and then they just spill everywhere, or Cheetos or something. I have done that so many times. And then they explode, and then they go on the floor, and I'm like, well, there goes my Cheetos. Okay. I still want the sleeve, because I want to put it back in the sleevey. Sleevey. But yeah. First off, show you what each card looks like. Each of these cards look so pretty. They're so cute. I don't know, I just really, um... Some people might not like the art style when it comes to... Like, you know how the original Project Diva, like on the PSP, PS Vita and stuff, they look different than, of course, the ones for the 3DS and stuff. They're like Nendroid. You know, chibi-like characters with uh, big heads, and I i honestly love both variations. I have no problems with either or. Like, this one, like, when you look at this character, it just, it just screams out cuteness. It just, it really does. It touches my heart. Like, if I saw this, oh, in real life, that'd be awesome. I don't know. Like, there's, I know, Miku Dayo. I think that's how you pronounce it. But she kind of creeps me out. Like, she looks cute, but if I saw her, like, at night, like, if I was going to a grocery store and I saw her at night, I'd probably run away by accident, like, if she was coming out from the dark. But she is pretty cute. It's just, I don't know. Like, these look adorable. I don't know. I'd rather just look at them like this on a electronic, you know, gaming system versus... That's adorable. Okay. That's what these look like. I'm gonna put these back in their sleevey. Sleeve, you know what I mean. And if I can put this back in the sleeve, I'd be very proud of myself. Yay. Next one. I'm going to open up for you guys. So you can see. And hopefully I do not break it. Maybe if I can open it like I did it with the first one. Aha. I did. Amazement. Fantastic. Astonishing. I am proud of myself. You don't know how many times I screw up opening up a bag and I fail. The camera should be trying to... Okay, there you go. It's like it should be trying to autofocus. Okay. Is there anything... There is stuff on the back. My bad. If you flip this over, there's another image on the back of the card. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I did not expect that. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, and then on the back of this one, Len and Rin. Okay. Flipping this one over.
pretty. These cards are so cute. Okay. So that's it for these cards. So now I'm going to put these cards up into their little sleevey. Go into the sleevey. Okay. Now that I put these back, I'm going to see, let's see here, put stuff back into place. Kind of like this it was like. And then of course we have here the game itself, if I can, if my camera can zoom in on it. If my camera cannot zoom in on it, then I just simply zoom on, on it manually, and that's what the cartridge looks like right there. Zoom me out. Out. Oh. Right now I have a book underneath it that's called How to draw caricatures, caricatures, by Lean Reedman. So, like, if you guys saw that book, yeah, like weird looking drawing cartoon character stuff. I right now have my camera like on top of multiple uh, gaming strategy guide books for RPG games, like. Final Fantasy, uh, Xenosaga, and so forth. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to put this game over to the side. Like, well, actually, just right there. And then I'm going to show you guys this. Because this is the last thing I need to show you. This was a pre-order bonus. That was the front. This is the back. Okay, and then on the inside, pretty much just looks like this. I guess you can just draw on these pages anything you'd like, really. Or anything that's Vocaloid Project Diva related, pretty much. And then that's something else from Amazon. That's what it looks like on the inside here. Miku. So yeah, this is what this booklet looks like. Focus in on it. We're gonna focus in on it. Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, it feels good being back on YouTube, everyone. It really does. Because now it is Christmas break for me and I feel wonderful right now. I feel at ease. Like, a weight was lifted off my shoulders. I feel awesome right now. So yeah, I'm probably going to do another video right after this one. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it, everybody. Uh, if you have any uh, suggestions of future videos that I should make, please leave them also in the comment section down below and I will read them. And um, if I see any or if I, if I know for sure I'm probably going to do the ones that you listed and stuff, then I'll reply back to you. Okay? Uh, but I'll still reply back to you and say thank you for that awesome idea. Thank you very much for watching my videos. This is Lynn Mooney signing out. Bye-bye.